Excellent. Hi, I'm Pete Goodliffe from Akai Professional here at the BPM Show 2014 filming with Sonic State. Really excited to give you an overview of our 1.7 MPC software release. It's a massive release and it's been out for about a week now. We've got great reception from our MPCs, so we're really delighted with that. So 1.7 has many, many features. The three headline features are a brand new mixer architecture, which I'll take you through. We have deep automation capability, hybrid three built in. Um, so if I just take you through those three features, the mixer. Um, so over here, MPC now, we've adjusted the mixer workflow. All tracks you see on the left here are MIDI tracks. So we have faders running. These are now MIDI faders. No audio comes through the MIDI tracks through uh, the actual tracks themselves. Over on the right-hand side of the mixer, now all our audio is coming through on program strips. So you see now we have accurate dB metering. We have peak hold. <coughs> Pardon me. We can now put inserts. This is effectively sort of our unified mixer world now as well, because all the, all the audio from any of the tracks in any of your sequences always come through the same program channel. So it gives you a unified mixer experience. If we hop over to the, uh, the pad mixer over here, a few cute things. For a start, you see the pads at the bottom of the mixer as well. So we can preview those on the mouse if we want to. If I play as I'm going along, you can see the activity ah, happening there. Really handy, it's, yeah. it's, it's a lift, but it's really useful. Also, in all of these mixers, uh, the pad mixer and the track program mixer, we've added mixer filters. So if you have 128 tracks, you're not using them all. You don't want to see 128 tracks on the mixer strip. So if you come over here, you see there are filters on the left-hand side. So if I can just grab the mouse. So we can view absolutely everything, which is not necessarily the most useful view. You can filter down to just the pads with samples, just the pads with events. So here you see on this track, I've only got two tracks with events. So instantly I can only mix the things I want. And if you get a combination of those, we have filters in the pad mixer, we have filters in the program mixer. Uh, no automation. This is another really big story for 1.7. If you have a look over here, the automation control before really didn't allow you to dig into that much of the MPC workflow. Now, practically everything within the MPC is automatable. So we can pull up any control, anything on drum programs, anything on plug-in programs, anything on inserts. If I pull up volume here, see, I can draw a curve. That'll be automated. Now, it's not only just drawing in automation, but we have a very full and very deep automation filtering system. So if I show you the track mixer here, you can see I can individually arm, record arm, and write arm any track, or, there you go there. Also, I can have a global automation control, which is available from the hardware and from the software at the top. So with one button push, I can arm every single program individually. This is, I mean, it's awesome for recording tracks in the studio, but it, it's another, it's, it's just, MPC is about live play, and this is just a boon for live play and live automation. So, deep automation support, deep mixer support, and finally Hybrid 3 built in. We're really excited about that one as well. Hybrid 3 is an excellent synth. Uh, from our, our colleagues at Air Music Technology, it's built right into the MPC. It's not a bundled VST, it's deeply embedded. So if you pull up a hybrid track, let's just hop over here to the synth track here. If I go into the program editor, this is a custom layout of the Hybrid 3. The Q-Link controls on your MPC hardware now automatically are mapped to certain hybrid parameters. It just means you can perform with it live and it's just a this seamless experience. It comes with a ton of presets. We're releasing expansion packs with more hybrid presets. So that's the three major features of 1.7. There's about 108. I counted them myself. That's not cobblers. Um, so we're really proud. The direct record. Uh, I could, the list goes on, but that's the main thing. Um, so yeah, 1.7 is out now, it's free. So you're kind of heading at the development team of the actual code side. Yeah, right? I'm the software lead for MPC, so right. mostly based in the UK, in a Cambridge development office, uh, but it's a transatlantic uh, software effort. We have guys in California, we have guys in Germany, so yeah. So I think I tried to ask you this before, you know, what's the thing, what's the thing that's actually uh, probably the least mentioned, but the, the, the kind of one of those little Easter eggy kind of features that you've put, that you've championed yourself. Right? Okay, uh, MPC is all about workflow, and we're constantly, we, we're MPC users as well as the guys that write the stuff. So all over the place, there are little nips and tucks, little workflow things that we're working on. For example, we did the global automation controls, uh, and we just, 
it wasn't MPC yet because you couldn't drive it from the control surface. It's all about the control surface. So this Q-Link trigger button here, it doesn't, it's not a big deal, but we now have the ability in the preferences to say whether it's uh, controlling just the current program or a global automation control. And th okay, that, that in and of itself isn't a big thing, but this, the, the software is just riddled with workflow improvements. It, the users will read the release notes and just see the way you use this is just, it, it, we're on the next level of control. Everything is hands-on, everything is just grabbable and playable with. And how can people access it so they can use it with Renaissance and is it MPC Studio as well? So, Renaissance is our flagship production workstation. This is the Renaissance here. The MPC Studio is a smaller um, unit. I don't have one here to show you. It can fit in your laptop bag that work, and you can carry it around with you. There's another software variant of MPC called MPC Essentials that ships with our Element hardware. Uh, now, with Element, you can use the full MPC software if you have it. Also, all the Renaissance and Studio users can use Element. That's, uh, 1.7 hasn't come out for our Essentials software yet. That will come out in a few weeks. There's a 171 release. That's got a few bug fixes in it from 1.7 and also updates Essentials to have all of the 1.7 technology as well. Great, thanks Pete. Excellent.